Why do banks need deposits? In our earlier video, we learned that the money multiplier is a myth. That is, banks don't take in reserves or bank deposits and then multiply them in a 10 to 1 ratio like the textbooks tell us they do. Okay, so that leads to a logical question then. If banks don't take in deposits to be able to create more deposits, then why do banks even need deposits at all? Well, it's complicated. The best way to start to understand this concept is that banking is a margin business. So banks always want to have liabilities that are less expensive than their assets. So for instance, consider a simple loan. If a bank makes a loan at 4%, that loan creates deposits. If the deposits are bearing 0%, then the bank is earning 4% on the loan and paying out 0% to the client but retaining the deposits within the bank. Deposits aren't just inexpensive liabilities though. There's a big multiplier effect from having your deposits at that bank. So for instance, think about all the fees that are generated from things like ATM fees or overdraft fees, or more importantly, what about multiplier businesses like generating a mortgage from potentially having a customer there or being able to benefit from having something like asset management services available to that existing client. So there's all these tangential benefits from having deposits. Rather than saying that banks multiply their deposits or their reserves, it's better to say that loans create new deposits, but deposits also fund loans. This is crucial because deposits fund loans by being inexpensive, capital accretive liabilities that can optimize capital creation through this multiplier effect from having a net benefit for the bank's balance sheet in various other ways. Okay, so why do banks pay interest on deposits? The answer is that by paying higher rates of interest, banks become more competitive. They can attract some of the deposits from other banks and take advantage of this multiplier effect. So the big lesson from all of this is that banks want deposits and in fact need deposits because they're the least expensive form of liabilities that the bank can hold. But don't think of banking as being this type of business where they take in money to be able to create new money. Yes, deposits can contribute to the capital base and the bank's ability to leverage their balance sheet, but loans create new deposits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.